let's talk WWE news and let's get on to the first topic of the video. WWE officially announced John Cena's return for the March 6th edition of Monday Night Raw. The 16-time world champion is going to make an appearance on the road to WrestleMania, and I think that means you can assume that it'll most likely be at the big pay-per-view in a couple of months. The current rumor is that John Cena will be taking on Austin Theory for the US Championship. I think it's a great idea for Austin Theory and the prestige of the US title. Theory's been already planting the seeds of this feud, mentioning the specific words ruthless, Aggression, which Cena famously used in his WWE debut. It's looking like this match is going to take place, and I am excited. This is a match that I hope make WrestleMania 39 feel even more stacked, so it should happen. It'll also help increase the Raw ratings with John Cena showing up on Raw on a weekly basis, if that is the case. Everybody wins with this rivalry. John Cena might not be the only one returning. On the Hawk vs. Wolf podcast, Undertaker discussed the possibility of returning to the WWE, and here is what he had to say. Was did you like? Would you still want to do a match right now if you're absolutely fighting? right? If so I was physically able to do it, I would be out there right so now. So does it? And that's that's what it's like. I would be without a, without any hesitation at all if I felt like I could go and deliver. And be right. and 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 deliver a performance that people expect when they see my name on the card. Yep, I would I would do it, but I know I can't. I think it looks like the Undertaker would love to step back inside the ring, but he respects the business as well as his character way too much to return to have a terrible match. I respect that. It's probably best for him to stay retired because that match against AJ Styles was a perfect retirement. Something tells me he might come back though and have one more match. Perhaps it can be a cinematic match with Bray Wyatt. There's literally no substance to that, it's just what I'm feeling. But like I said, it's probably best to stay out of action. If I were The Undertaker, that is what I would do. Sami Zayn versus Roman Reigns was one of the biggest matches in wrestling history. The people in Montreal desperately wanted to see their hometown hero come out victorious. And according to Dave Meltzer, they weren't the only ones. People within WWE also wanted him to win. Here is what Meltzer said. I know people there who, who were very, very strong that Sami winning is the best thing. But, you know, I was also told, you know, that, um, you know, the, the powers that be, um, are not even considering it, you know? I mean, that's what I was told. They're not even, it's not even being considered. Now, it sounds like a group of people within WWE were pushing for it, but the final say of the higher ups didn't think it was a good idea. Instead, they decided on keeping the main event between Cody Rhodes and Roman Reigns, and that is an interesting decision, especially considering that Triple H loves Sami Zayn. After watching that match, I think it would have been the right call to have him win, because that crowd was absolutely crazy for Sami Zayn, but I'm also not too sad about the decision, I'll move on. Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens winning the tag belts sounds like a fun moment as well, so honestly, at the end of the Day, I think we'll all be fine, but still it kind of sucks that Sami Zayn was not able to win those belts. Vince McMahon's return to WWE happened so he could sell the company, and a new report from Bloomberg came out stating that he's looking to sell for around $9 billion, while WWE has a valuation of $6.5 billion. It's unsure if Vince can find a buyer for that price. I don't know who's willing to overpay that much for the WWE. There's even a possibility that he's overvaluing the company in order to remain as the chairman of WWE for as long as possible, but that would be a 400 IQ move if that were were the case, not gonna lie. On a serious note, it'll be interesting to see if someone overpays or if Vince will lower the asking price. Knowing all these stories about Vince, he probably won't back down. And the last story I want to talk about is WWE looking to sign Kenny Omega since he's a free agent very soon and hasn't re-signed with AEW yet. If you remember, before AEW was created, Omega and the Bucks were interested in joining WWE, but they ultimately decided to sign with AEW because of the EVP positions that they were given. However, Kenny Omega not re-signing could be a sign that he's weighing his options and the WWE wants to strike. Kenny Omega in WWE would be huge. It would send shockwaves to the wrestling world. On top of that, MJF could also leave AEW after this year is over, so there's a lot of uncertainty with AEW's future. Cody Rhodes leaving was big, but Kenny Omega and MJF joining WWE would just make AEW feel very empty. Tony Khan has got to do everything in his power to re-sign both of those men. Anyways, that is it for the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.